This is so crazy. I, I cannot believe. Once I get into it, I'll be straight. We have another surprise for you guys um, that we're not gonna reveal yet. What's going on guys, I'm back. We got some exciting news, a lot of exciting stuff has happened. Black Friday was crazy. We got a new car, which is pretty cool. Got rid of the Porsche, got rid of the Mercedes. Got this bad boy. I just wanted to give you guys a little sneak peek of that. I'm actually on prep again. I've been on prep for about two weeks. I feel like I'm making some progress, you know? I'm getting lean. I hired my coach again, Brandon. He's my coach that turned me pro. Got me all the victories, got me all the dubs in the past. And we're trying to see if we can ignite that flame again. Um, so yeah, video, car, full day of eating, bunch of fun stuff. It's gonna be a good video. So yeah, Black Friday just happened, in case you guys didn't know. And <clears throat> I'm not gonna say our warehouse is a complete mess, but there's a lot of fucking shit in here. Um, as you guys know, we close on that property and we're set to start build. That shit takes a long time. Like the permitting and stuff, uh, we're, we're probably not gonna start building that hoe out until like July, June, July. By the way, you guys killed it. We like tripled our Black Friday from last year, which is absolutely insane. I thought we were just gonna like maybe go a little bit over than what we did last year because last year was insane. But this year was pretty crazy and um, can't thank you guys enough. This is probably a horrible presentation for our few workouts or our, our shaker cups. We have some cool ones. These are like the least coolest ones, but got some shaker cups on the way. I don't know if the internet has seen my, or the YouTube has seen my new tattoo. What? Have they seen this? This one. Oh no. They haven't, right? And I don't think they saw this one either. I haven't YouTube in like four months, bro. They saw that one. This one? Yeah. Oh, okay. Not that one though. So as you guys know, my dad used to be a Formula One driver. Uh, he started off in Mexico and he kind of worked his way up to Formula One. Um, he retired not too long ago. So I got I got a uh, picture of his Formula One car with him in it. And then like the Anaka sub spanner. And then this is a track in, in, in Texas, the Coda track. I go there a lot for Formula One. I've been the last three years in a row. And then this is the IP Anaka performance logo, which is very similar to the Formula One logo with Anaka in the Formula One font, so. Tatted. Today we're doing, we're doing the sour gummy pump, but today we're doing back. A little bit of buy, but mainly back. And we'll probably finish it off with 30 minutes of cardio. Coach has me doing five workouts, five sessions of cardio. And then I have my option of choice for extra cardio, which you guys will see later in this, I guess, prep series. Um, I get to do basketball or run, which I mainly do basketball now. Kind of faded out from the running thing. It wasn't for me. 21, can you do something for me? 21. Can you hit a little rich flex for me? Then 21, can you do something for me? Drop some bars to my pussy ex for me. Then 21, can you do something for me? Can you talk to the ops next for me? 21, do your thing. 21, do your thing. Do your thing, 21. All right, guys, so just wrapped up a back and buy. Well, mainly back, one buy movement. So right now, this is how I look post back workout. Didn't really get a chest pump. I wanted to, but my chest was fried from yesterday. Side view. Back view. I think I forgot how to pose. This kind of feels awkward. But anyways, this is my, this is my physique update. Post day two of the week back workout. We're gonna go get some food. I'm gonna show you guys what I eat every morning for my first meal every day. All right, so we're back home for the first meal of the day. Technically, I have a pre-workout meal that I don't normally take, only because I don't like to eat before I work out. I like to work out fasted. It's been the same way for about like the last two years. If I wanna go to the gym in the morning, I'm usually just up, putting on my clothes, and I'm out. The only thing I'll take is probably pump, like you guys saw in water. Other than that, no pre-workout pre -workout meal. So I already discussed that with Brandon, he already knows that. Um, I eat my first meal after, and it kinda gives me more calories uh, throughout the day. <clears throat> right now I have for the first meal, we have 60 grams of oats. What I do is I do 60 grams in here, pour water, put it in the microwave, warm it up, and then I pour oats on top of it, mix it, it's amazing. Right here we have the apple cider donut, very festive, uh, seasonal protein powder. 
For egg whites, I'll do, pretty much do 200 grams of egg whites. I think that's equivalent to like, <coughs> I wanna say almost like, maybe just over two cups. Two cups of egg whites, and then I'll do two whole eggs, just like that, boom. And then for on the supplement side of things, every morning I'm kind of mixing between uh, one of these or I'm switching between one of these or alternating between one of these. We have the citrus greens, the mixed berry greens, and the lemon lime just to go in my order for like based on favorites. One, two, three. I'm a huge citrus guy. Anything that tastes like orange juice or vitamin C or emergency or just like anything that tastes like orange, honestly, it's just my thing. And I love the way this thing smells. So like, I always take a whiff of it. Uh, this is... That's good, dude. <laughs> Big news, eh? Huh? <laughs> Big news. Yeah, I know, that was crazy. <laughs> this is just this isn't an open one. This this one's not open yet. I have one that's open in there. Anyways, mixed berries what I take every day. And then on the health health side, just take a lot of these just to kind of keep my, my body regulated, you know? Keep everything regulated. When I'm on prep, I like to make sure like I'm a well oiled functioning machine. So we have the pr blood pressure, prostate, multivitamins, liver, and then I have like the D2 and K3 in there as well that I take daily. I take this over French toast any day. Mm-hmm. This or French toast? This. This or breakfast tacos? This. <clears throat> yeah, that's good. Fuck. Okay. That just sucks. <laughs> 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 you're out of breath already, guys. Yeah, I am. <laughs> Holy shit. I drank a lot last night. Sheesh. Should not go out drinking before playing basketball. On a Thursday. Shit. On a Thursday. Damn. I'll warm up, though. Once I get into it, I'll be straight. It's gonna take a while. So that was a fucking workout. I drank a fuck ton last night and uh, decided to come wake up at 6 a.m. to play basketball. Started off with this little basketball. Show y'all the new whip. The inside on the Naka, what's been going on. Oh, the tat, just got tatted. This is peeling bad, so it doesn't look as good. But uh, look at that jiggle. That was crazy. All right, well. That was cool. Damn, bro. I should have brought a fucking shirt. Yeah. All right, so we just got back from playing basketball. As you guys know, I've been on a cut. I started at 226. I think I'm like 213, 214. Let's see. Damn, right on the money. Not on the money. <laughs> I'm 214 with these pants on. Probably like 213, honestly. Maybe. Who knows? But. I've lost about 12, 12, 13 pounds since I started my cut. Um, diet's been in check. When I leave work and like my business and whatever and come home, I feel like this diet kind of keeps me in check. It keeps me in check with my workouts. I'm working out every single day, like, I, like today at 6.30, 7 a.m. in the morning, doing my cardio, getting my meals in, and I'm repeating every single day. I love having that routine. I love having that diet routine. I've been doing this for a very long time, so I know what it takes to transform my body into, a, to, into what I want my body to look like. Physique update. Huge shout out to UVH for the shorts. As you guys know, if you guys don't know, we sponsor a lot of their uh, basketball players. Pretty cool, because they're fucking cold right now. But yeah, physique update. Let's get the outfit of the day. Quick outfit check. We got the Kith, Letterman, and Naka basic white t-shirt. Got some blue jeans and some escape shoes. 
new skate shoes that just caught. Pretty nice fit. Like everything's matching perfectly, right? That's good. You, the surge approved? Yeah. Hell yeah. It's like you're going somewhere, bro. Let's go. Knock a hat, by the way. Knockpower.com. So before we head out, I want to give some a quick uh, sneak peek of some items that are dropping uh, for the next drop. This is going to be our winter drop. We've got this embroidery crew neck. Stuff is nice. I don't know if you can tell how, how nice it is. It's probably glittering in the camera right now, but this is a super premium crew neck. We got this full embroidery hoodie. Got the embroidery right there. Check that out. Boom. On the sleeves too. Boom. And then on the back. Yeah. Boom. This is a clean hoodie, right? Mm -hmm. Super clean hoodie. And then my favorite hoodie matches perfectly with the Fragment Travis Scott's. Got that mountain on the back, mountain on the front, all embroidery. It's taking it up a level. Super high quality, super premium. And then we have, and this is just a sneak peek, guys. This isn't this isn't everything. And then we have this one that's like a navy blue, super, super dark. You can't really tell it's navy blue until you see it in the sun. Mm -hmm. It's like a dark blue. Um, C Club crew neck, embroidery as well. Super nice. Another sneak peek item. We got this hoodie. Full embroidery on the front, embroidery on the patch. Check that out. Embroidery on the back, super nice. Man, this is probably gonna be my favorite drop. Mm -hmm. Like we it's have beautiful. a lot of like premium items. We have another surprise for you guys um, that we're not gonna reveal yet, but just know y'all are gonna love it. Um, this next drop is gonna be crazy. We've been like deep in our bag during these off times. We took December off because we wanted we wanted to really like master the next drop. We wanted to hit 2023 Q1 January. We wanted to start it off with a bang, and it's gonna be crazy. It's gonna be really cool. Or shot that move. So today we went to this new place called Dutch Bros, and oh, they come up to your car and take your order. I think so. Sheesh. They have an app. Really? Yeah. Oh my God. Scared of that, bro. Cap. <laughs> I need that cold brew, though, no cap. <laughs> nice cold, nice cold cup of coffee. Good morning. Hey. How are you guys doing today? Phenomenal. Good, how are you? Doing pretty good. What can I get started for you? I'm not gonna lie, that shit was ass. Pulled up to Starbucks, and my homie Macro Barista has been hooking it up with the daily Starbucks orders. I like black coffee. But I think I'm just not feeling the winter spice. So like, we literally had two sips. We both were trying to like, we were both just driving. I was driving, sipping it in silence. And I looked over at Serge and he was drinking. I was like, man, like, maybe I just need to stop complaining and just drink this shit. Like, maybe I'm just like a huge complainer. And I was like, you know what, Serge? Like, I had to ask him, I was like, yo, is this shit good to you? And he was like, nah. And I was like, bro, thank God. Like, I thought that was the only one, but that was pretty bad. So I love trying new coffee shops and I've only been to a few outside of Starbucks that are really good, but Starbucks is fucking good and consistent. I'm gonna show y'all what I get. Wasted zero time, guys. This this looks 10 times better. So what I get is Grande Cold Brew, one pump of cinnamon dulce, one white, one pump of white mocha, Splenda, splash of half and half, and the cinnamon powder. That's fire. By far, the greatest Starbucks drink ever created. 100%. No question. All right, so now we finally go to the fucking office. Jeez. Twenty twenty-five. <laughs> <laughs> I actually ran in these when I was like a hardcore oh, runner. Old samples of yeah. like this one, the branded. <clears throat> oh yeah, these are old. When I was a runner, like hardcore, like not too long ago. I ran in these, and they were pretty fire. Especially like right now in the summer or the winter. It's getting bad. These aren't final samples, but it gives you an idea of performance. Joggers. Joggers. Joggers, man. We got these. Performance bras. Plenty samples. Try to be nice, because Lex working on all this. I don't want to mess it all up. Girls, got paint, got maroon, or whatever that is, blue, tons of colors. Premium quality shit, man. Premium quality. 
Good stuff, man. Good stuff. Yo, so like, we were working out this morning, and Gary V decided to DM me. Keep going, Charlie. Freaked out, panicked, didn't know what to say. And I said, I sent him, thank you so much. You inspire me, bro. He was like humbled for real. Happy holidays. I think we're just not gonna respond because like I don't want to be faced with like the awkwardness of like. I DM'd him back and said happy holidays and he didn't respond to me. This is already a surreal moment. I'm gonna cherish this for the rest of my life. But like, I can't be like left on red. There's no way. Yeah. So Gary Vee, if you ever watch this video, bro, I appreciate you, man. You just made my fucking holiday. Right now we're currently on the way to uh, Tim Hortons. So Tim Hortons, if you're not familiar, it just opened up. Is this the first chain in Houston? Uh, it's two already, but this is the first one that opened here in Houston. Or oh, 80. first, first one in America? No, nah, I'm not sure about nah, that. In Texas for sure. This one in New York. Damn. So like we're going to the first Texas Tim Hortons, right? I believe so. Yeah. Yeah. So we're going. We took a fucking 45 minute drive to get some coffee. This shit better be good, man. <laughs> Have you been to Tim Hortons? Yeah, last weekend. No, before that. Oh no. That's crazy. <laughs> all right. Well, we're gonna give y'all a TTR, and we're also gonna be doing something really crazy. We're gonna be giving out a Naka care packages to random Houstonians around the city just because we're in the Christmas spirit. So we'll get to vlog that and you guys will get to see the reaction. Maybe they won't know who the fuck we are, maybe they will, but at least they'll be getting some free clothes. I don't like like a lot of coconut. Yeah, that might that might be a dog because it's only 290 calories. Yeah, that's cream nice. Cream latte. Is that like cream boule in the fucking coffee? I yeah, guess so. Yeah, it's probably or the cinnamon sugar oat milk. Dude, this is my first time on Charlie's vlog in a very long time. Oh yeah, dude. The OG's the OG's been like missing me and shit, so I I like tell Charlie, like, bro, need to hop on the vlog, you know. <laughs> Hopefully, hopefully it's not awkward. Like I don't, I don't know when to do it. That's the only problem. Yeah. Walking into Tim Hortons with two random ass bags. Nice, that. Eh? First time at Timmy's. We give you all that. It's good. Fire. It's good. Let's go. I saw it. Jeez, one for two, I'll take it. I saw it. Oh yeah. <laughs> this one's this is this fire, is, right? It's pretty crack, yeah. I mean, it's a basic order, but it tastes like it tastes really good. It's good like when you don't wanna <laughs> I feel like at Starbucks I always have so much shit in my drink. Yeah. This yeah. is like straight coffee. It's just I Mm -hmm. It's like, I wish it was more though. You finished it quick. Yes, the, the bread is super thin, but. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the avocado is mm -hmm. Perfection. Wow. I'm gonna get, yeah, I'm gonna get another toast. You are? <laughs> Which one? Both of them? Both, yeah. Yeah, y'all got it. <laughs> <laughs> Can you carry the meat? Yeah. Yeah, no, I got, got it. it. I'll, I'll record it behind the scenes. Damn. Hallmark movie. Let's go. Hallmark. This is not planned at no, all. Not. This is crazy. That's so cool. What? Uh, oh, that's crazy. Say <laughs> 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 so, food. It's so funny because they're like, man, this is going to be like weird. No, 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 no. Well, that's that. So this is for you. So, uh, that's all for you. I think it's all sides of life. It might be all sides of life. And we got a hoodie too. And then a hoodie for you, yeah. This is like hoodie, bunch of shorts. Oh, thank you. 
so crazy. I, I cannot believe. We were wondering if people were going to actually know who we were. Oh, dude. Yash. That, that's so crazy. What, what the fuck? That's so crazy. That was perfect. Dude. That video was hilarious, though, because, like, the guy. <laughs> He's like, what? Like, the guy at the end is like. <laughs> No, let's go do a large. Let's go do a large How's guy. Going? Good. Always watch uh, you, Christian, and Max's oh, uh, YouTube videos. What's up, bro? Hey, hey. hey. what's up? Nice to meet you. Yeah. Hey, what size are y'all? Well, Merry Christmas. Oh, We're actually about to leave. Really? Oh, yeah. That's so funny. So this is <laughs> that's so oh, funny. My all the oh, second my God. people that y'all have. So we ran into a couple here and they knew who we were. And we gave it to them. That's and then we were literally about to leave it. We took a th thumbnail and then we ran into y'all. <laughs> Can we take a picture? Course, that yeah. would make our day. Of course. I'll take it for you. I appreciate Thank it. Thank you so, so much. much. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. What's your name? Kyle. Kyle? Yeah. Patricia. Uh, it's it's so funny. You did a good job, like setting it up, dude. Yeah, dude. You did a good job. <laughs> you found the right, like you found perfect candidates. That was weird. That was yeah, crazy. That was you came sh directly to Charlie. Shit. This one I thought my fame was running out. <laughs> Shit. I'm still on top. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still that nigga, bro. Like, damn, I'm not washed. <laughs> What's going on guys? So, we reached that part in the video where I get to talk about what the thumbnail's about. And here it is, the 48 Spider. 488 Spider, 2019, 2018. Um, carbon fiber spec, <clears throat> black and yellow stitching, black with yellow stitching, leather interior, carbon fiber interior, carbon fiber steering wheel. I specifically chose this spec I did a lot of shopping for specs and I liked this spec the most because I felt like it was a statement spec, but it wasn't like extremely loud. Like it wasn't like the common Ferrari red or the com common Ferrari yellow, or not common, but the Ferrari yellow. I love the black with the hint of yellow. It kind of reminded me of like the Batman, the Batmobile. And that's kind of what it looks like from the side. It kind of looks like the Batmobile. But uh, I've always preached that I was a Porsche guy. But recently, I sat in Dom's owner of Raw Revive. I sat in his 812 super fast in my in Florida not too long ago. I think this was July. And um, I told myself, I was like, if business really takes off this year, I'm gonna reward myself with a Ferrari because I want one and I, I don't have kids yet. And this is the time where I should be enjoying all these things before I have kids. And I'm not saying that when I have kids, I'm not gonna enjoy these things, but I just feel like you, you enjoy these things more when you have, when you don't have kids. And so, worked, worked, worked. The business did really well, and then I decided to end my decided decided to reward myself end of the year gift, birthday, Christmas, end of the year gift, all in one, with this Ferrari 488, Ferrari 488, and I'm so in love. Like Porsche is beautiful. I love Porsche. Porsche will always have my heart. I'm still trying to get the GZ3 RS, but. This baby right here has me feeling like I don't even need a GT3 RS. 48, 48 Pista, Pista Spider, F8. I, I, I don't know, I'm, 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 I'm pretty sold on Ferrari right now. The experience you get, the feeling, the experience, everything about driving this car is just elevated. It just feels completely different. Um, the respect you get, um, the, the head turns, all that stuff. It just, it's just a beautiful car. And it, for me, in my opinion, it just speaks like class, like a lot of class. Wherever I go, it just speaks a lot of class. It's, it's just a beautiful car. I love it so much. And I've already put like 1,500 miles on it since I've gotten it. I've had it for maybe three weeks now. I've put like 1,500 miles on it. And honestly, I drive it more than a year's, which is pretty crazy. I thought this was gonna be a weekend car, but I mean, everything that I do is within a 10, 15, 15 mile radius, so like, I have no issues putting miles on this. I buy things to enjoy it. I don't buy things just to hoard it and keep it at home. The GT3, I kind of just, GT3 RS, I kind of just kept it at home and didn't drive it as much because it's predominantly a track car. 
but I never even went to the track, which was extremely sad. But um, this car I can enjoy it daily. It's a convertible, fast, 660 horsepower V8 twin turbo. It's just beautiful. I love it so much. So just kind of wanted to do a proper introduction to the vehicle. And uh, hopefully you guys enjoy this video. We already have another video cooking up, so the next video is going to be dope. The next video, we're almost going to wrap it up. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. I'll see you all in the next one.